if you want your room to look absolutely neat and tidy then you have to be ruthless and throw out the things that are not essential the word ruthless means showing no mercy and yes showing no mercy and welcome to today's session good afternoon everyone hello hi let's get started with the discussion because we have plenty of questions to discuss all right so we have to find out what is the opposite in meaning of the word printed below reveal to okay we have to find out the meaning of something that means completely opposite to reveal to okay what is the meaning of revealing something it means exposing something right uh, so this is synonym this goes into synonym presented to again is sort of a synonym manifest what is the meaning from of manifested from the meaning of manifested is something that is clear okay or obvious to the eye or the mind all right that is the meaning of manifest okay so something that is obvious from okay so uh, reveal to the opposite will be one that is hidden from all right that is the answer for the first one hidden from moving on to the next question the word is handsome what is the meaning of the word handsome now you need to understand that sometimes these words you have to look at the options okay to understand in which context are the words being used okay so handsome does it mean uh, someone who is okay you have to find out the opposite okay so handsome means someone who's very smart and elegant and uh, all the good things so it does it mean dear no it does not mean someone who's dear to you you cannot call someone who's dear to you as handsome uh again but it can be a close not a close very far off synonym okay precious is again synonym uh spoilt is just something that is uh, not fit to consume or something like that okay so ugly would be the right answer for handsome so the opposite of handsome would be ugly this one was pretty simple moving on to the next question radiant okay uh, now radiant i think the word should be radiant but anyways radiant it does not mean full it means someone who is radiating or uh, means someone who is very happy okay so the meaning of the word we have to find out same in meaning over here the meaning of the word radiant is happy okay happy or joyous any of the above of course uh, radiant is something that has uh, that uh, throws out or emits a lot of light okay but if i say i'm feeling very radiant today or i'm um, yes i'm feeling very radiant today that means i'm feeling very happy very joyous very cheerful very bright and things like that okay so out of all the words that are uh, given here most closest okay would go not most closest closest would be happy okay all right moving on to the next question root okay uh, what is the meaning of root something that is the main if i have to say root cause of something the root cause of uh, him passing the exam was his hard hard work that means the main cause for him passing the exam was his hard work okay so that is the meaning of root moving on to the next question immutable what is the meaning of the word immutable something that is unchanging okay something that does not change with time okay something that remains constant okay so that is immutable uh, something that does not change with time or with anything okay uh, yes what is the meaning of amenable amenable means it is uh, pronounced as amenable not amenable 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 means open and responsive to suggestion okay these type of people are also very gullible who are always open to suggestions and who always take people's advice uh, but uh, amenable is more on the positive context synonyms can be uh, of amenable can be uh, someone who's very compliant okay someone who's very compliant or someone who can be easily persuaded 
or even controlled for that matter okay so someone who is very gullible someone who's very open to su suggestion is amenable okay uh, it can go anyways okay the word can go anyways it can be a very positive word if someone is very amenable that means he is open to suggestions and open to discussion and he's very responsive but at the same time he's also very gullible and can be easily persuaded things like that okay amicable is friendly yes all right next word is magnificent i i i hope all of you know the meaning of magnificent uh, i'm not going to discuss that word because it is very very common now amicable is someone who's very friendly okay uh, amenable on the other hand is someone who is very responsive and open to suggestions okay someone who can be uh, who is very compliant okay when you ask questions or when you ask for suggestions he's always open to it and when you give suggestions he's always open to take uh, suggestions okay so yes he can be friendly he can be called amicable but they are not exactly the same thing okay they both mean two different things all right uh now unchangeable uh something that cannot be changed again okay uh, same as immutable okay so you know that the meaning of immutable is unchangeable what is the meaning of uh, impervious impervious means something that does not allow fluids to pass through okay pervious uh, is something that allows fluid to, to easily flow impervious is something that is, does not allow fluids to pass through all right yes magnificent means large scale it can be um, huge it can be uh, on a yes large scale all right moving on to the, the next question so the answer for immutable would be unchangeable right something that does not change with time or cannot be changed okay that is immutable and so is unchangeable all right moving on to the next question hone what is the meaning of hone hone actually the uh, literal meaning of hone is to sharpen something okay and we always use it with skills so uh, when we talk about skills honing a skill it means refining or perfect something over time all right that is the meaning of hone yes permeable semi permeable impermeable all these permeable is something that uh, easily lets fluid to pass through semi permeable is semi permeable membrane some fluids it uh, allows to pass through some does uh, for some fluid it does not okay uh, again uh, and impermeable is something that does not allow any fluid to pass through all right hone means like i said sharpen and it also means to when we talk about skill sets or when we talk about uh, practice or something that uh, you can hone your skills we say usually okay so what should be the word for it you have to find out which best expresses that means a synonym for the word okay so what are the words that we have we have own we have inculcate what is the meaning of inculcate it means instill something okay Inst it can be instill an idea uh, a habit or an attitude any of it okay uh, sharpen again like i said hone means sharpen so sharpen would be the right answer okay adopt i hope all of you know the meaning of adopt adopt is to take something up moving on to the next question the next question that we have is adept what is the meaning of adept we are not talking about adapt we are talking about adept okay someone who's very skilled or someone who's very proficient all right so uh we have to find out one which best expresses again a synonym for it unskilled means someone who is not skilled at all and adept a person this would be the opposite antonym okay flexible is not nothing to do with adept brave again has nothing to do with adept a draw it on the other hand has come from the word draw it or dexter all these words means the same in different language languages which means clever or skillful 
all right so adroit would be the right answer flexible will not be the answer because adept means someone who's very skillful at something okay uh, so is an adroit okay adroit also is uh, dexterity also talks about the same thing okay someone who's very dexterous is someone who's very skillful okay so dexter means skillful uh, adroit has come from the adroit has come from the uh, i think french root word and uh, uh, dexter has come from the latin root word all right so both of them means the same thing all right uh, moving on to the next question okay now we have error spotting questions that we have to solve let's look at the first question the company has launched a creative marketing campaign to reach for its you uh, for its rural customer okay you do not reach for someone you reach out to okay when you have to reach out to its rural customer all right so the error is in option c third one is the right answer okay three has the error so you are reaching out to that means you are approaching the rural uh, reach out means reach out to means approach all right so three has the error moving on to the next question this year a large number of funds have been prevented by alert clerical staff who insisted that customers provide valid identity proof okay where is the error over here okay let's uh, look at uh, look at it segment by segment this year a large number of funds absolutely fine have been prevented a uh, large number of funds have been prevented by alert okay have been prevented by alert critic uh, sorry clerical staff who insisted absolutely fine that customers provide valid identity proof absolutely fine there is no error so fourth one is the answer okay i'm so sorry uh, yes this year a large number of frauds have been prevented uh yes frauds have been prevented that makes more sense uh moving on to the next question now banks which do not meet its priority sector targets are required to pay penalties okay now banks which we are talking about not bank we are talking about banks okay uh which do not meet their priority sector okay banks which do not meet their priority sector so the error is in option 1 that is a yes the answer is there banks which do not meet their priority sector not its priority sector all right next question now what do we have to do uh which of the phrases a phrase a b c given below each sentence should replace the word phrase printed in bold in the sentence to make it grammatically correct if the sentence is correct and as it is and no correction is required mark d as your answer okay so you have to look at the phrase and tell me whether the phrase fits the sentence or not okay so in terms with seating capacity it is the third largest stadium in india in terms of seating capacity it's the third largest it is the third largest stadium in india in terms we never use in terms with it is in terms of okay so when do we use in terms within terms of so this one would be the most appropriate what does it mean in terms with in terms or within terms of means specifying which aspect of it you are discussing okay or it can also mean uh, in what point of view are you uh, considering a, we can replace in with within there is no problem with it both means the same thing okay moving on to the next question now All right the next question that we have is in 1982 Asian Games brought about a major change in India the 1982 Asian Games brought about a major change in India what is the meaning of brought about it means 
to cause something to happen okay so the right answer is no correction required that is option 4 all right 1982 asian games brought about a major change in india if you guys will make sentence using brought about that would be absolutely great so start making sentences using brought about okay so that means to cause something to happen okay so it can be a change it can be anything all right all right next question even the strongest critics of prime minister what do you have to do you have to talk about uh, which of the phrases given against the sentence should replace the word or phrase given in bold in the sentence to make it grammatically correct okay so if it is there's no correction required you have to put option 5 even the strongest critics of the prime minister uh, those who have most vehemently opposed what is the meaning of vehement oppose Demonetization are actually stands in line to say how bad black money is. Uh, are actually standing in line to say should be the right answer. Okay. And what is the meaning of the word vehement? Okay. Something that is with great intensity. All right. Are actually standing in line to say. Okay. Not uh, are actually stands, which is wrong. You cannot use stands in line. Uh, are actually standing in line to say, because we are talking about continuous tense, standing in line to say, how bad is black money? Moving on to the next question. Wiser men than me are saying that all the money taken out of the economy when the big notes were demonetized will, mostly, will most probably come back. Okay, wiser men than me are saying what are they saying that all the money taken out of the economy is it right yes it is absolutely fine no correction required okay all the money taken out of the economy okay so the, we are talking about everything all the cash that was taken out uh, or pulled off from the economy okay so no corrections required moving on to the next one the credit for these deposits will be the only given after two banks okay now there is a mistake some word is just not right will be the only given after two banks official uh, officials quiz the depositor as to why this money was not deposited earlier okay the credit for these deposits so basically it is trying to say that uh, whatever money that you're depositing into the account it will be questioned by uh, the bank officials as to why this money was not put earlier and why are you depositing this money now okay so that is the uh, meaning of the statement so so if you put your money so which one would be the right answer will be only given before two banks no will be only given after two banks uh, no uh, will be only given after two banks this one two bank officials okay it, it should not be banks official it should be bank officials okay after two bank officials okay so the right answer would be option three remember there's a small change in both these statements there is an s missing that's why third is correct so you have to be very careful with these uh, kind of statements do not rush and just mark two as the answer Okay, given only, there's a there's a problem over here. Given only. It should be, will be only given. Okay. The structure should be, will plus be plus only and then given. Okay, because we are talking about a, we are putting a restriction over here. It will be only given to those. Okay, not given only after. Are you understanding the difference in the stress? Okay. For example, you will be allowed to play only if you pass your exams. Okay. Or you only be given free time if you pass your exams. You will only be given. Okay. Uh, so this is a condition. When we put conditions like that, you will only be uh, giving this or this will only happen when. So then you put only before the verb. All right understand the stress okay conditions when we put uh, we put conditions before the verb that we are talking about all right okay moving on to the next one the government has expanded the meaning of black money to also include the money on which taxes may not have been paid 
Okay, so they have expanded the meaning or they have extended the meaning. Is it correct? To also includes. Again, include it should be. It should not be to also includes. It should be to also include money on which taxes may not have been paid. Okay. So you see there is very small errors of S and uh, statements with uh, words with S or without an S. Okay. So you have to be very careful with these kind of statements. Moving on to the next one. There are actually millions of honest, self-respecting citizens who had stayed away with the tax net because they were allowed to. Okay, again, there's something wrong with the statement, isn't it? Who had stayed away with the tax net because they were allowed to. So what should be the right answer for this one? There are actually millions of honest, self-respecting citizens who had stayed away with the tax. Okay, who had stayed away with the tax net because they were allowed to. Okay. We are talking about millions of honest and self-respecting citizens. Okay, so th these honest and self-respecting citizens were allowed to stay away. Okay, who had stayed away is past perfect. So past perfect is not something that uh, it is something that is a consistent process. Okay, it is not something that was in the past and is irrelevant. It is totally relevant to now. There are actually millions of honest, self-respecting citizens who have stayed away from the tax net because they were allowed to okay have stayed away so it will be present perfect will be used over here not past perfect okay had instead of had we'll use have because this is still relevant to the scenario that is given over here all right that's why we are using have instead of had had when we, we when when do we use past perfect when we have to talk about a situation which is irrelevant or not at all something that is not at all uh, holds importance in the present time now this one on the other hand holds importance in the present time and we are talking about how they stayed away from the tax so that's why it is option one is the answer and not who's going three okay who has staying away no who has who have okay we are talking about people so it should be have it should not be has okay and staying is continuous again no okay so the right answer is option one all right moving on to the next question till then each of the sentence is divided into four parts you have to find out where is the error error spotting because they refuse to follow the conventional dress code Neither Shivani nor her friends is inv invited to the local society function. Okay, now, can you tell me where is the error? Okay, now, this is subject verb related error or subject verb agreement related error. Okay, now it says, neither Shivani, because they refuse to follow the conventional dress code, neither Shivani nor her friends is invited. Okay, now, uh, when when we have the neither nor case and nor case we go by which subject do we go by which which one is closest to the verb okay and which one is closest to the verb her friends which is plural right so neither shivani which is singular and this is plural and this one is closest to the verb is so we go by the plural verb right or plural subject so it should be instead of is it should be are that's the rule now her friends are so the error is in option four i hope you got it yes the verb agrees with the nearest subject and the nearest subject is her, uh, uh, her friends which is plural so the verb will take the plural form are all right moving on to the next question during the last centuries Whaling voyages. What is the meaning of whaling? It is the practice of hunting whales. It can be for their oil, it can be for their meat, it can also be for their uh, whale bone. Okay. During the last centuries, whaling voyages depart regularly from the New England states and because each voyage normally extends for years the hold was packed with supplies before a whaling ship set sail okay now where is the error 
during last century first we need to understand this is in past tense right whaling voyages we are still talking about a story that was in complete in past okay so we are talking about a story that was in past during the last centuries whaling voyages departed departed regularly from the new england states and because each voyage uh, voyage normally extended not extends extended for years we are talking about a past story the hold was packed with supplies before a whaling ship set sail oh, got it so the error is in which statement option 3 whenever we are narrating a story remember stories are always in the past okay and normally in simple past so whenever we are talking about a story in the past if there's a fact then it has to be in simple present other than that if we are talking about a story or an incident or narrating something in the past it should always be in past tense okay so it should not be extends for it should be extended for yes moving on to the next question the moment they came to know that their leader was issued a, ch a charge sheet the entire group of workers went in a strike went on a strike we never say went in a strike we always use went on a strike and the this one was pretty simple the error is in four okay people go on strike they do not go in strike moving on to the next question The reason why he was rejected was because he was too young. Any error? Yes, there is an error. Now tell me where is the error in this one? Okay, when we say the reason why, it itself means because. Okay, so we do not use the reason why and because in the same statement, right? So the reason why he was rejected was that he was too young. Okay. so reason why is itself because so we do not use because twice all right so we have to remove because okay so the error is in option 4 because he was too young we on to the next question the rotary club applauded hari and i for our work helping the handicapped in town find secure jobs okay where is the error Where is the error, guys? The Rotary Club applauded Hari and I. Okay, I is always used in the subjective form, and here it is not the subject. So, and what is the replacement for I in the objective form? It is me. Okay, so the error is in option two. The Rotary Club applauded Hari and me for our uh, work helping the handicapped in town find secure jobs. Yes, Hari and me should be the right answer. All right, moving on to the next question. Uh, interesting one again. Uh, this is about you have to find one word substitution. These are these were my favorite when I was in school and also in college. I, I mean everywhere. I just love one word substitution. Okay, so let's get to one word substitution. That which makes it difficult to recognize the presence or real nature of somebody, somebody or something. Okay, that which makes it difficult to recognize real nature or presence. Uh, uh, the pre presence or real nature of some somebody or something. So, what is the meaning of pretense? Pretense is an attempt to make something that is not the case appear true. okay so that is what the statement also means that which makes it difficult to recognize the presence or real nature of somebody or something so pretense is when somebody is trying to convince deceive you okay uh, deceive you into believing something that is not true okay so that is pretense right answer will be pretense camouflage is just blending in with uh, the environment so that uh, you are not seen okay that is cam camouflage okay so uh, blending in with the uh, colors of the environment or the environment itself that is camouflage it is not um, something that is not real and not seen and making it appear something else that is pretense okay deceiving or fabricating okay so the right answer will be pretense not camouflage Yes, hide in what sense? Hide uh, camouflage means hiding. Yes, but uh, it means hiding in the way that you blend in with the environment and then hide. Okay, so it is nothing to do with the real nature or presence that 
uh, it becomes difficult to recognize okay we are not talking about uh, difficult to see we are talking about difficult to recognize the presence of somebody or something okay so pretending yes should be the right, right answer yes friend uh, fake pretending deceiving fabricating like i said all these words are related to pretense okay next one a person who gets help or advice from a lawyer or any professional man okay a person who gets help not the person who helps okay so the person who gets help is the client barrister is the advocate what is the meaning of despot a ruler okay who has who holds absolutely uh, all the powers uh, the absolute power and is usually and usually uses it for uh, cruelty and things like that okay so despot is a brutal rule, ruler okay and party i am sure all of you understand okay next one a person who is very selective disgusted easily and is hard to please my god three things at a time someone who is sensitive disgusted easily and is hard to please okay what is the meaning of fastidious that's the meaning of fastidious a person who is very selective disgusted easily and is hard to please misanthrope is a person who hates women or dislike has a dis, has a tendency to dislike women oh uh, not women sorry dislike all human beings Okay so someone uh, someone who hates human being and thinks that people need to take care of themselves people are stupid people are exploiting the mother earth and things like that okay and what is the opposite of a misanthrope philanthrope is the opposite of mis misanthrope which means a person who's who does a lot of charity and is a humanitarian misogynist is the word for a person who hates women yes all right I am sure you all know what is the meaning of ambiguous. I don't have to tell you what is the meaning of ambiguous. Moving on to the next question. One who is an expert in judging art, music, etc., etc. Now, you should know this one, okay? One who is an expert in judging art, music, or even wine tasting, or even food, okay? So someone who is very expert at that is a connoisseur. Connoisseur. that is option 2 connoisseur is a very important it is a french word for an expert in matter of taste okay it can be any sort of taste it, we are not just referring to the uh, taste buds we are referring to any kind of taste it can be taste in art it can be taste in music it can be any of the above okay so that is the right answer next one to run away with a lover oh my god this one is very easy it is elope they eloped and got married and lived happily ever after con sir that is not the spelling anand that is not the spelling all right all right so that brings us to the end of this whole discussion um i hope all of you understood all the questions that were discussed uh practice as much as possible be persistent at what you're doing make sure you practice every day and if you have any doubts you know what to do please yes post it on the dashboard all right so have a good good day good weekend to all of you bye bye take care